Mrs. Sommer, when it comes to Turkey, the parliament has, I don't know for which time, there's been many discussions on Turkey, but it has discussed Turkey this time as well. What was the concrete issue this time? Um, the concrete issue was uh, the lifting of the immunity of uh, really one-fourth of uh, uh, the MPs of uh, the Grand National Assembly in Turkey. 138, if I remember right. Yes, and uh, most of them uh, from the HDP party, from the uh, Kurdish party, 50 from uh, 59 uh, members of parliament. And um, this is, of course, uh, extraordinary and, uh, from our point of view, not acceptable because um, um, uh, they are facing um, uh, trials now. Um, uh, and uh, uh, most of them will be accused uh, under the anti-terror law. And uh, this is, of course, a uh, uh, big danger for democracy. But how do you judge this decision by Erdogan um, when the people in, um, in Turkey are not too sure whether the PKK actually wants to be a part of Turkey? PKK is no part of Turkey. PKK is a terrorist group, but uh, uh, that does not mean does, uh, that all uh, people of, Tur of Kurdish origin are terrorists. And that does uh, as well not mean that all members of the Kurdish party, HDP party, are terrorists. Um, but um, uh, the Turkish government and President Erdogan um, are trying to criminalize all uh, Kurdish uh, people or people of Kurdish origin and of course uh, this HDP opposition party and uh, we cannot accept that. But what can the European Union actually do? Uh, that's the question, that's the question. Uh, 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 the actors uh, um, um, have uh, uh, not a unique uh, uh, opinion. The Commission says, oh, we need to open the chapters 23 and 24. That would force um, uh, Turkey to accept the rule of law and um, make the um, uh, situation uh, better. Uh, but uh, most of uh, uh, the um, MEPs say we um, need to act. We need to show the Turkish government and uh, the Turkish president that uh, Europe does not accept um, uh, these actions. And um, I asked uh, yesterday in the debate um, uh, to close down uh, uh, the negotiations. This is, from my point of view, the one and only way to show uh, the Turkish government and uh, President Erdogan um, that uh, 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 this is a, a serious, very serious situation. But the serious question is also how to handle the refugees. Um, yeah, I'm not afraid uh, that the EU-Turkey deal is endangered by that, because uh, it's, uh, this deal is of interest for Turkey as well, uh, not just for the EU. Uh, what uh, Turkey wants to have is uh, mainly the visa liberalization, and um, uh, the, the negotiations on that will go on. And I'm convinced now uh, that um, uh, President Erdogan uh, finally used these anti-terror laws against uh, uh, these MPs. Um, he, uh, in, in some months' time, he will not need this legislation anymore, and then he can change this legislation to um, uh, make it possible to have this visa liberal, uh, liberalization because um, uh, these anti-terror laws um, are an obstacle um, uh, with a view on the visa liberalization up to date. Knowing Turkey as you do, do you think that Turkey as such, even the common Turk, wants to act to be um, a member of the European Union? Um, uh, the polls tell us that uh, a majority of the Turkish citizens are not uh, convinced that um, uh, membership would be the best solution, let's say. But um, uh, we uh, know that quite a lot of Turkish citizens are keen to become members of the EU or to keep this perspective for the country because for them it's a perspective to have freedom sometime, democracy, rule of law and um, a, a safe and, and free uh, personal life. And uh, this is the problem that we have. Uh, we need to deal with this as well. We need to support um, these people because it's it's uh, our interest as well to have a democratic uh, Turkey as a, a good and reliable neighbor. Final question. 
What is your feeling about the future? Um, I'm not a prophet, but I hope the very best for the future of Turkey and uh, of course for the future of the EU.